And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, recently Goliath put out a group of games that are spice themed. They come in these little spice containers. And so, of course, that sort of thing always attracts me. I like cool packaging. So today we're going to be looking at salt and pepper. Um, this is the ultimate spice, I guess, the most basic of spices. So let's take a look at salt and pepper. Push it. This game actually comes with a little scoring pad, which is rolled up inside, which is kind of neat. Just a scoring block to keep track of players' scores. And each player is going to take a turn. They're going to put the 19 tokens, which are these tokens have a salt on one side and a pepper on the other side. And so you're going to shake these up and you're going to call something. So I'll say salt and then I'll pour these and I'll see how many salts were rolled. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I get 10 points, and then I put the salts back in here, pushing the peppers aside. This time I'm going to say pepper. Four more points. So now I'm up to 14 points, and I put these back inside. I'm going to say pepper again. Yeah, three points. So 17 points I have so far. Pepper. All right, one point. Pepper. No, oh, all right, I'm, uh, I'm done. And that's pretty much it. Then the next person goes, you keep going until someone gets 100 points. There's a few things. If someone ever rolls seven of a color exactly, then they get to put them all back in, regardless of what side they're showing. If you roll more than six times, you'll get one point for each roll. And if you roll and you, roll and you get at least, and they're all the same color, and there's more than two then you will double the points. So let's say I called salt and this is what I had rolled. I would get eight points rather than four. Anyway, first person to get to 100 points is the winner. Now, salt and pepper is like really annoying to me in a sense because this one has some cool pieces. I really like those little discs with the S and the P on the different sides. The idea of using the shaker to pour them out, great idea. And then the game is just luck. I mean, they could have just changed a couple rules and made it a better game, like having it be a push your luck game, like you can stop anytime you want to, and you get to keep all the points that you've gotten. Uh, but if you uh, roll, like let's say you say salt, and you roll three peppers, and you only have three left, and you get nothing, that seems real. That seems that still wouldn't be that good of a game, but it would be a better game. And then you add in a rule that if you roll seven, you get to put them all back in. Yay! When that happens, it's like, hey, free points for you. You got lucky on your roll. And you, like, the, each rule that they have, like the doubling, and uh, if you roll six times or more, you get extra points. It's all luck. You just roll and see what happens. There's literally no choices. This is not a game. It's just an activity. But it could have been a game. So, cannot support this one at all, folks. This one, unfortunately, is the worst of the four. Uh, and it seemed that potential when I read the rules. I was like, oh, this sounds in. Wait, wait. Where are the decisions? And there needs to be a decision. So, nope, salt and pepper. Don't push this one, not good. Dice Tower Judgment, just a pile of luck. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching the Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.